in losers. Hey, yo, hold on. As Tony, well, Tony pajamas looking kind of different out here. Uh, yeah, wait. This is this is another. You know, this is this is some mess in the house right now, versus uh Connecticut's very own Ling in the house. Unfortunately, getting reverse 3 0 on in winners finals by none other than Encore's own homegrown hero. Quick game and baby. <laughs> yeah, quick games. Game. And I mean, as you said, right? Tony, there is a nest in CT in Tony pajamas. However, Tony doesn't travel very much, and his playstyle of nest is very, very different than Zero. So the question is, how ready is Ling for for this kid from New Jersey? Oh no, man, this kid. This kid's kind of Mr. Worldwide out here, making phenomenal top eight placings at Gamo. There's definitely another one I have in the back of the mind, but yep. I definitely forget has, it right he now. He has uh, Apex, right? Yeah, it was um, Apex it, and It literally Gamo. was Apex. We were there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we were Apex. there! It was Apex and Gamo. How could I We forget? were there! This is the GOAT. This is the GOAT. But honestly, I'm turning on the bias comps for a little bit. New Jersey versus Connecticut, all right? Okay, okay, okay. This is your people's this is, champ. This, this is, is your champ. Yeah, it's Tri-State versus New England. I'm, I'm, I'm taking off my Tri-State hat that I've worn for the last three months. I'm going back to my roots, baby. Let's go, Ling. Snivy over here cheering for Syrup. Uh, I, you know, I mean, you know, I guess yeah, it's old, old guard, new guard. You know, this is about as different yeah. as it gets. Ling's been doing this for years. Syrup, I think, just barely 18. So finding the early back air and with a turnip in hand, you can't threaten that forward air off ledge. Really good stuff Ooh. for Ling. Kind of putting him in a position to either get hit by turnip and get edge guarded. Into all, right, turnip combos in the back air, that's death. Or you catch turnip, then you can't forward air off ledge, and you're going to get caught by a back air as well. Yeah, and right now, you know, to start off, this game is a pretty even pace, yeah, honestly. Absolute fall burn. Answering back, seriously, back to back combos, back to back openings. Ling trying to get the up air combo started and the turnips as well. And Syrup, you can see him kind of looking really patiently for these openings with the up tilt. But Ling is not giving him up. Ain't giving up that space. No, he is not. And one of the things that is really, I think, important to point out as well is that there aren't really peaches in Tri State. Yeah. It, you know, we only like got the, Cody. That's yeah, like, like player four. That's mm -hmm. all I can and, really think and, of. And player four, play, Reggie, Reggie's combo, like Reggie's combo game doesn't really exist all, all that often. Like, I love him, but he is the definition of, he is the only Peach I've ever seen play more defensive than Lin. I kind of like that. And yeah. that's that's a high bar. Well, if we just combine Cody and Player 4, I think we'd have the ultimate Peach player. But right but, now, Ling is showing up as the Peach player on the block. You already know the business. Yes, sir. He wants that run back. He wants the redemption in on Quid, and in order to do so, he needs to take care of business with the other invader left in bracket. You've got three players. You've got Connecticut, you've got New Jersey, and you've got the hometown hero, Quid Games himself. Uh -huh. this, and honestly, this stage choice as well, like obviously like you start on PS2 very often, but these high platforms, the large stage size are so, so good for Peach, right? She's able to control so much space with float. Her a bit, when she has a big lead, she kind of can just right, float camp you, which Ling loves to do. And we're seeing him play kind of uncharacteristically aggressive today for how he normally plays. Yeah, honestly, I am liking this approach in the game plan because it allows Ness to... It allows you to basically shut down Syrup's game plan, not really set it on up, as you can see, just immediately to the blast zone. Yeah, and no uh, DI here on lock. I was gonna say, that, that, that was... Yeah, that wasn't even, as you said, that wasn't even bad DI, that was just no DI. Uh, Syrup definitely not ready for that Peach Bomber mix I'm up. I'm not ready. And, uh, I am ready for that. I mean, the Tukus, the Tukus is powerful. The Tukus is powerful. Uh -huh. Peach's booty gonna clap you. That's all I am saying. Man, I always be just talking about Shakira and those hips don't lie out here. Yeah, I mean, listen. We already know. We already know. You know, listen. I mean, Big all I'm saying booty. is, Big uh, peach. you know, if you just just remember, if you're ever playing Monsters and Monsters or Sling with Ling, if uh, the Jackbox game, if you send him Peach emoji, he will tell you he will match with you. He never <laughs> will. Do not trust this man. The poker face isn't just for Smash. Pa, 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 he is pa, a pa, master pa, poker face. of getting into it, and we're not going to see any counter picks. Syrup, from these please. Two. I'm uh, begging you. Wait, Syrup. Wait, wait, wait. Please. Wait, I, okay. So I was going to say, the fact that he almost picked, locked in that mid-min was a little terrifying. I'm not going to lie. Steve, bro. Sy Syrup has... Steve. Syrup... Has Steve, I guess. A little, a little scrimble of Steve. We bust it out in friendly, yeah. or I guess. Yeah, he can bracket every now and then to kind of meme on people. Gotta, gotta call up Quandale and uh, and get some tips on that one. But uh, in the meantime, right, Syrup opting for this small battlefield pick, trying to find these lower platforms, a little bit smaller, less space to work with, to kind of help him 
prevent Ling from controlling the pace of the game the way he was early on, but Ling just still, it, it feels like, in theory, Syrup wanted Ling to not get away from him, but he's not able to get away from Ling right now. Now, honestly, while well, Ling has been the aggressor pretty much the entire match and being in this situation, you know, definitely don't want to be just taking a stock from the air. I think Syrup wants to take it to the stage because it's kind of a comfort pick for him. Yep. He wants to set the pace of the game, and he can do that kind of just shutting down Ling's game plan. But the thing is, he just has to not get blown up by Peach as he is right now with the double back air and the dare still just getting chased on these platforms as well. Yep. And one of the things, right, as well with Float that at, at this point I think a lot of people know, but if, if unless, in case you don't, Ultimate, when you short hop aerial because of the short hop buffer, it deals less damage and knockback yeah. than a full hop aerial. But when you float, even okay. if you float right on the ground, you get full hop aerial damage. But speaking of aerial damage, Syrup able to rack on so, so much percent. Ling smartly just playing patient, not pushing any buttons, and not getting caught by the PK Rocket. Now with the tournament hand, it's gonna let, it, it, let him get back at least a center stage. And calling out a preemptive forwarder with his, a backer of his own has another ledge situation this time. Oh, I mean, what can he no. make happen here? You're basically dead here oh. because even if you kind of made it back, uh, Link could just yep. throw the turnips and you would just hit it and can't fall yep. back. That is one of the saddest things to watch from well, a Ness. You saw him not even go for ledge there, but try and just get hit the stage, get the bonk, and once Ness, when Ness hits his head on the stage, he has three frames, he can input a second up the and, and keep it, keep the train going. And using the PK Thunder aggressively there, they're a little bit of a mix up, just allowing him to get back to stage, rack on some damage, but he's down a full stock, about to get lapped in for sense and he just has not been able to push these buttons and find these stalls. Honestly, Ling been ready for these shields. As I say that, man, I cast a curse my New England homie, dude. Uh, that's just how it is. The commentator's curse always comes through right now. And Ling trying to lock it down against Syrup. This is looking pretty scary because you just have these these turnips that are just so threatening to your character. They catch you committing to these options, pressing them buttons as well. And Ling, you know, Peach, a character that loves to just command this airspace. You just don't want to be trading with any of these aerials. No, sir. And one of the things that is so incredibly... No jumping in Pointy, And the winky face. Winky face. Wink on him. Wink on him. Yeah. Um, I do it for the one time. Calling out Peach looking like Diva out there for a second with... Uh, um, but anyways, I'm having way too much fun saying that over and over. Listen, that's a winky uh, face. Okay, Snivy. I see you. I see you, Hatsune Miku. Yeah, you know how it be. Getting right into game number three. Ling in this exact situation in winner's finals. Don't do it, Syrup. The downside? Ling's in losers now. He got reverse 3 0 And Syrup definitely considering that ca character Don't counter pick. Syrup. He's going deep in the tank, but at the end Syrup, of the day, do it. he's not. He's not. He's sticking with his. He's he's sticking with his friend, the little 13-year-old with psychic powers. Release Mother Three. Do All it. right. Release Mother Three. I see him releasing. All right. Sorry. Um, going with the uh, the massive belt skin. I love that. That's a good old Gak skin. And uh, what? you know, Ling notably has really good turnip RNG historically. Um, thankfully, Ajax not here on the mic to bless him. Every time Ajax mentions a special, how many any, bless? Uh, I've never e heard. Oh, every, that's a every time anyone, uh, anyone mentions a special turnip with Ajax on the mic, it gets pulled back Hold up without Ladder? fail. Um, yeah, no, and and Ling really not only like found bombs earlier, but he hasn't even found a stitch face so far in this set. So he's kind of due. So what? Keep your eyes peeled. I'm definitely looking out on the screen right now, much like Syrup looking out for this Link pack that might be going online right now. But hold up, drag down fair at the back throw. Definitely will seal the deal right I there. I love the back throw, not instant throw, just stare you in the eyes, look, you, it's look for the into damage. your soul, it's for the mental and just, push. and then say, okay, you, you think you have an opportunity to match? Nah, nah, nah. But now you have right Ness in the corner again, and. What's scary is, this is the same situation as the quid set, right? The first lead quid had at any point was in game number three. Yeah. And he reversed 3-0. So Syrup now, if he's able to get something happen, Ling needs to close out the set because going to a game four, he's going to start to see flashes of winner's sign. Ah, oh, that PTSD might be a factor for Ling here, but... Ling definitely can shake this off and make it come on back, but we'll see. The Ness got the ridge right now. Syrup being real careful about these approaches. You can see they are very scared to interact. And I know Ling is just looking for that one open and catching him on that back dash, just like that with the backer and setting it up. Once again, those hips don't lie. 
No, sir, they do not, and we're gonna try and find an opening, but this is now Ness getting, trying to get the combo off the turnip. If he had hit that magnet, that, 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 I think that would have just ended up converting into a stock, and we would have seen yet another thing from Kid Clip posted on Twitter after bracket. Instead, just opting to find these PK fires, the back throw at ledge going to do it at 100%, and that was just about a zero to death there from Syrup. And Ling now with his back against the wall in this game three, he has to find two stocks, Hold and this up. turn of combo is a place to start, but you have to convert oh, this no, stock. the body block! That was so smart. Ling, you are a genius. Tony Pajamas, you, you gotta go home and thank Tony Pajamas after this set tonight, because you are on the verge of bringing this all the way back, completely reversing the situation we had not even 20 seconds ago. Hold up, but you can never sleep on the kid, but right now, it's looking like a GG situation, but okay, Zero coming back with the magnet, trying to set up the situation here at the ledge with the fire, with the back airs, kind of just right in that space as well, but Link looking to do the same right on back, but finding himself in the right back place. Yep, and again, right, we're gonna see Ling opting for the dash attack there, just trying to lane under platform, catch a grounded approach, Syrup, though, delaying it. Now at ledge, opting for that aggressive thunder, just trying Ooh. to put out anything to contest just the sudden burst, right, of, of hitboxes that Ling has managed to be able to put in his face, calling him out over and over, and we're just seeing, like, uh -oh, Ling's adaptation, right? He's got the download on Syrup this last stock. He's just calling him out over and over. Fourth, though, is not gonna do it yet, but... It's just so scary to be Ness in this situation. Honestly, with that confidence, Ling might take it out, and there you go with the Nair in a 3-0 fashion. Ling closing it out. And, Sarah, uh, my boy. Speaking of, uh, speaking of closing it down. out, Snivy. Yeah, it's going to be for us. That, that's going to be that's it for us here on the mic.